Alex Herman è il direttore di Colvé, un'azienda che presenta anche dei veicoli elettrici qui a Leicma di Milano, al padiglione eh, verde e abbiamo anche questo prototipo molto interessante che lui ci spiegherà. I speak to the Italian public and I present you and I, show, I said that you present here this uh, prototype and yes. of course we are curious and we would like to know more about it. Yes, basically um, it's a prototype of a sports bike, uh, an electric sports bike that we hope to put into production uh, in May 2010. Um, we have used parts of different bikes for the prototype but we have a frame being made uh, especially for the bike. Um, the batteries are from China. The motor is a water-cooled motor, electric motor, 15 kilowatts of power um, with a, a, a 90 volt battery that's producing 60 amp hours. Um, we have tested on a rolling road the uh, motorbike up to 150 miles per hour um, with a range of 125 miles. Um, it, it goes into production in May 2010 where we hope to sell uh, the bike at around 13,000 euros to start off with with a limited production of about 25 models. Um, and we, we, we look forward to the future. We know that the future is clean, the future is green, and it's definitely electric. Um, unfortunately, oil is going to run out in this world, um, and we hope that we can help, help with the emission problem that the world has at the moment and be a part of the movement going forward in the green movement. Which type of batteries use this uh, motorcycle? Uh, we're using batteries from a Chinese company called um, Thunder Sky. Um, the the, the, the motor is actually supplied by a German corporation called Per Motors, um, based in Germany, and the controller is from PG Motors, in, based in England. So lithium? Uh, it's lithium battery, lithium polymer batteries. So, um, yeah, we have a temperature sensor because a lot of people in uh, the world think that lithium batteries are dangerous and that they overheat. We have a temperature sen sensor that will just cut the power automatically um, should there be a temperature rise in the battery cells. So um, safety is paramount to us. Um, it's been through rigorous testing. Um, I'm, I'm a rider myself, so uh, I, I, I like to ride it. It's, uh, it's, it's great fun. It's, as with every electric uh, motor at the moment, it's very torquey. Um, there is a lot of torque. It, it is as quick as a, as a 600cc bike. Um, and they're very fun to ride. It's definitely the future, definitely the future. You uh, said uh, that uh, will be uh, on production in next future, so it means that you are beginning with all the practice for homologation and uh, different tests of safety and all things. Yes, we, are, it, we, have, we have the mold coming to us um, in December when we get back from the show uh, and we will fit the mold. We are actually in the process because uh, my expertise comes with electric motors, electric batteries, electric controllers. Um, I cannot be an expert in everything, so we are looking at, uh, we're speaking with a number of other companies for the suspension, for the braking system, so that we get um, a very good high quality. You know, um, there's only so much you can specialize in, so I'm, I'm looking for, we're outsourcing the braking, we're outsourcing the suspension as well, um, which will hopefully give us a very safe ride. We have a, a, a number of test riders who are going to test the bike for us. We have a lot of publicity, uh, they are interested in both in England, both in Europe and in Asia as well, um, as uh, it, it's going to be the first affordable uh, sports bike. Um, there are other competitors in the process of making sports bike, but then they can't, they're not doing it as an, as an affordable bike. It's more of a, as a luxury, and I, I want to make this marketable and, and um, possible for the masses, basically. Uh, Ecolve is a company that's uh, beginning to do especially this type of job or this uh, company that make other things and now uh, it's a reconversion of electric vehicles? Um, no, we set up primarily to uh, sell electric vehicles. We have, um, we have a range of three scooters um, that are all electric. Um, we, we buy the parts from various places around the world. We buy the motors from China at the moment. We buy the batteries from China and we assemble them in the UK. Um, in England, in London, in our factory. Um, we produce about f four bikes a, a month at the moment. Um, our, our customers tend to be commercial customers, uh, pizza delivery companies, courier services, because uh, businesses have a bigger responsibility to be green than the, cons than the normal consumer does. We are actually here at the show launching the uh, product range to uh, the, 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 the European consumers. Um, we will be attending uh, the Birmingham NEC event as well. Um, and various other shows throughout the year promoting our products. Um, and we, and 
we hope to do very well out of it, you know. Um, but the main, I, I, I'm actually genuinely passionate about electric vehicles and, and that it's clean for, and it's good for the environment. They're uh, cheap, affordable, fun. And uh, this one of the products is that uh, this scooter that we can uh, see here also. Yes. This is one of the products here, that, this uh, lovely uh, Italian themed scooter um, based on a, a classic Piaggio uh, Vespa type bike. Um, we actually uh, nicked, the, we were well, we, we taken the handlebars from America. Um, uh, we've taken the body from America. Um, the again the batteries from uh, come from China. Um, as with the motor and the controller is English again uh, from PG motor uh, PG controllers. Um, we assembled in England and uh, basically we, it's got a guide price of t uh, 2,800 euros uh, to the public and. Um, it's got a top speed of uh, 65 kilometers per hour with a range of 65 kilometers, um, which is uh, which is a good range. Um, it, unfortunately, the charge times are still, you know, um, a little bit behind, which puts consumers off. They ch they they take uh, two hour uh, it takes two hours to charge to 80 percent, um, and then six hours to get the full 100 percent charge. Uh, we have actually got rights on a fast charging system. Um, that's coming from the Netherlands that we hope to distribute in the UK. I'm sure it will be coming to Italy soon, um, which will drop the charge time down to around 20 minutes, which means that you can hopefully we sell to uh, shopping shopping centres or supermarkets. You go in, plug in your vehicle, go shopping, come back, wow, it's charged again. And that will make it very attractive to the consumer, I, I believe. Equal base here in Italy for looking for new partners, pa partners uh, for dealers, for, for what? Yeah. For began to uh, commercialize in the Italian market? Yes, we're, we're here looking for distributors within Italy and within the European Union. Um, we already have a distribution network set up in England, um, but we want, we want to be pan-European. We, we, we want to build a brand name that is synonymous with electric motors. Um, we want to be like the Suzuki or the, the, the Yamaha of electric bikes and you know it's interesting to see the uh, the big the, the big um, the, uh, the bigger uh, manufacturers uh, and they, they they're not doing something like this you know I'm, I'm I'm happy and I'm confused as to why they're not pursuing this route um, where I believe firmly it is the future in, in, in automotive movement basically Thank you very much, and I, we, we can keep in contact because uh, we, with Electric Motor News, try to inform and give information about all news and about new production and commercialization too in Italy and around the world uh, about electric vehicles and not only electric in general green cars. So uh, we would like to keep, keep in contact with you and with your company for the next news. Definitely, we will keep you informed of all our upcoming uh, products. We also have a car that's coming over in February uh, 2010. Um, it's an electric car um, that, that we will be launching in uh, to the European public. Um, it, it's got a similar range of 125 miles in a top speed of uh, 100 miles per hour. Um, and so, yeah, we're, we're right in there with the forefront of technology and we will keep you informed of everything that we do. And I will take a reservation for test this electric car. Ah, brilliant. You're welcome to come and test it. We invite you to our factory in England as well. I will go there, surely. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.